Plastic M has been in uh, Phoenix this week covering things for us, and this week he's got a wise guy with a Philly and Phoenix connection. Two weeks ago, number 39, Brian Hennessy, came home to Philadelphia. Arizona lost, and Hennessy touched the ball only two times. But Brian, or Rudy as he has become known, walked away with one of the toughest wins pro football has never seen. Rudy Gurr! In the 70s, an undersized kid named Rudy refused to accept what others called reality. Rudy dreamed of playing football for Notre Dame. Not everyone is meant to go to college. Strikingly similar to the story of Rudy is that of Brian Hennessy from right here in the Maniac area of Philadelphia. But while Rudy's dreams took him to South Bend, Indiana, Brian flew here to Phoenix, Arizona. And here, Hennessy stepped into the life of Rudy. Coach, can I talk to you for a second? Please, it'll just take a minute. Unlike Rudy's introduction uh, to Notre Dame's coach, I'm Rudy Rudiger. Getting to Buddy Ryan took days of planning and waiting. Coach, I would not be bothering you if I was not positive, I can play at this level. Like every other NFL team he had written, Brian's letter requesting a tryout had been added to the pile of Cardinal wannabes. And if, after that, you are not impressed, I will never bother you again. So Brian posed as a Federal Express driver with a package for Buddy Ryan. Eventually, he found himself sitting here in the lobby of Ryan's office. Sitting there for 15 minutes, here comes Coach Ryan walking in. I rehearsed his speech a million times that I'm, what I'm going to say to him. He walks in, he says, good morning, son. And all I can say is good morning, coach, as he walks by and goes into his office. That was it. Brian's dream had literally just passed him by. Or did it? He'd been waiting, I guess, two or three days up and down town, and he came in, sat down, and uh, we talked for a while. I used to tell by looking at him that he was a legitimate guy. Brian's tapes from Bucknell had made it to Buddy. But Hennessy had been out of football for two years. How could a pharmaceutical salesman be fit for pro football? Sometimes I'd land in Mexico at 9 o'clock at night and have to find a weight room or try to run around through this job through the city and try not to get murdered. After a short workout, Brian Hennessy had a contract and a chance. But once again, life imitated art. Rudy's best friend was killed in a steel mill. One week before camp was to begin, Brian's brother Ricky was home on leave from the service. While walking here along the Maniac Canal, Ricky fell and hit his head. And so he tripped and uh, hit his head and fell on the canal, and, and I didn't find him too late. Ricky's death would devastate the Hennessy family and drive Brian in his attempt to make it with the Cardinals. I'm dedicating my season to my brother. I, I actually wear his dog tag with me out on the field, and, and, and sometimes I'll just touch them and somehow hope he was watching us, watching me. I give my best effort because I'm dedicating all my efforts to him. Often overmatched, the Rudy-like Brian kept coming again and again. Rudy was reborn. Named Rudy Phipps. Who named him Rudy? I did. I had a practice one day, just popped in my head, and I said, uh, that's the way to run, Rudy. His play was inspiring, winning hearts with his heart. You got to have Rudy. Brian Hennessy, I mean. But when he picked a fight with Eric Swan, the biggest man on the team, he pushed them too far, right? No, oh, they love the guy. You know, he, he, just like the movie Rudy was. You know, at first they all, you know, this guy is, you know, who is this guy? Then he comes out and he gives it all, he gives it all, he gets knocked down, he gets kicked around, he gets spat on, he gets slapped, he keeps coming back. You know, what can you say about a guy? The guys respect the heck out of him. And I was afraid that I heard his chance. Then, when Brian's life seemed to so perfectly parallel Rudy's, just then, it took a turn. Brian's father had a heart attack. In fact, I was uh, stopped reading four times, and Brian was just standing by me. He kept saying, Dad, don't cross that river. And uh, keep swimming. The pet was given to Brian because he's now the new Rudy. <laughs> and this Rudy never gave up, and neither will our Rudy. Yeah, kid, you're on the team. Thank you! Hey, hey, come on. Like their Rudy, our Rudy found a spot in the heart and on the roster of Buddy Ryan. He said, Rudy, as he calls me, he said, uh, you keep working, I'm going to find a spot for you on this team. And that, that's coming from the guy who I, I, I called him once. I said he's like Santa Claus to me. Rudy is not a story of winning or losing or even how you play the game. Brian Hennessy came home to Philadelphia. He showed us it is giving your all to play the game. That is what is important.
I feel like I want to buy some popcorn. I uh, like the movie, Rudy. Yeah, it's Rudy. very close to it. I saw the movie. and uh, You like the movie? Oh, I liked it very much, yeah. I thought it was very nice. And, uh, you know, this fellow here just was given a chance, and you, you have to give him credit for his determination and his dream. However, I will give the fans an update. Uh, he has since been waived by the Phoenix Cardinals. There is a possibility that he could be put on the practice squad. So, in a sense, the saga continues. And so does the Rich Kotite Show. I got a lot of questions I've got to have answered. If you'll stay tuned, we'll be right back. The Rich Kotite Show with Al Meltzer will continue on Channel 10.